Okay. Hey, hey, fifth graders. I hope everyone is having a fabulous weekend. Um, we are getting into lesson 13. Uh, we are uh, on our final topic before we celebrate our learning. We're going to get through that topic this week, starting tomorrow. Um, and we're going to be doing some conversions, so it's going to be fun. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go. We are going to be converting the Eureka way. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to unpack what we're starting with and then we'll start actually converting. So let's look at this one that's already done for us. Eight weeks. Um, here's where we kind of unpack that. Eight weeks is equal to eight copies of one week. Easy enough. And then the second line is where, is where we're actually going to do that conversion. I'm making this sideways um, equal sign. If you put your tilt your head to the left or the right, you'll see it's an equal sign because what's whatever is in parentheses here and whatever is in parentheses here have to be equal to each other. Okay. So our second line here, we're just looking for eight copies of seven days, and then our third line, we just multiply yeah. eight times seven. Easy enough. Fifty six. Yeah. All, all done. Go ask Daddy. There's Cal. He's asking, asking for a snack. Go ask Dada. Um, okay, so let's look at B together. So we're going to convert years to days. Four, four years is equal to how many days? Our first line, just like I said over here, is where we're just going to unpack what we're starting with. So what we're starting with is four years or four copies of one year. Now we're getting into that second line. Remember, whatever is in parentheses here has to be equal to whatever is in parentheses here. So let's rewrite our expression for copies of blank days. One year is equal to how many days? Well, one year, thank you, Manu, is equual to 365 days. I'm trying to uh, occupy Cal. Oh, excuse me, Cal. <laughs> Gosh. Um, we can watch this, Cal. Sorry, guys. Cal, let's just watch this. Mom is making the video, okay? Um, okay, so one year is equal to 365 days. Terrific. Um, for our final line, I can't get over that burp. That was hilarious. I'm sure you guys are cracking up. That is the life of a toddler, not always polite. Excuse me, Cal. My goodness sakes. Um, for our third line, all we have to do is multiply Whoa. our 365 times 4. You guys can handle that. You have been rocking with your multiplication, so let's go for it. 4 times 5 is 20. Thank you. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26. Carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. As it turns out, 4 years is equal to 1,000. 460 days. Wow, that's a lot of days. Um, let's look at a couple more here before... Yeah, I think Cal's okay for a couple more minutes. Um, here we're going to convert meters to centimeters. Our first line, we're really just going to unpack what we're starting with. We have 9.2 meters. 9.2 meters is really saying 9.2 copies of one meter. That's easy enough. Now we're getting into our second line where we're actually going to have our conversion factor. Keep in mind, whatever is in parentheses up here has to be equal to whatever is in parentheses here. So for our second line, what we're doing is looking for 9.2 copies of how many, now we have to think of how many centimeters are in one meter. Louie, if you're holding one meter stick, how many centimeters are you holding? Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes. Thank you, Louie. You're holding 100 centimeters. From here, you guys, we can multiply 9.2 times 100 using the place value chart in our hearts. When we multiply anything by a power of 10, you know it's going to grow larger. We're multiplying that 9.2 by 100, which means we're going to move, shift those digits to place values to the left, and we're going to... Oh. Cal is looking at pictures on the piano. Wow, Cal. Sorry, he says. Sorry, guys. Uh, as it turns out, 9.2 meters is equal to 920 centimeters. If at any time I am talking too quickly because I feel like my toddler is about to... 
Dog, dog. Um, lose his mind. Please pause or rewind this video. Um, but let's look at one more here, guys. Um, let's look at F, where we're converting pounds to ounces. In order to convert pounds to ounces, I think it's really important to see. Cal. I think it's really important to know. I see that one pound. The abbreviation for pound is actually LB, which I don't particularly care for, but we can talk about that another day. Um, one. Now Cal's sitting in my lap, so we should be able to film this one. One pound is equal to how many ounces? Does anyone out there in math land know how many ounces are in a pound? Elsa, thank you. Elsa just told us, thank you Elsa, that there are 16 ounces in one pound. Beautiful. Okay. So, do you guys notice that we're given a lot more scaffolding and we're given a lot more information up here and as we move through our problem set, we're given a lot less. That's okay, we can handle it. Um, so our first... I don't need this for I know. Me. Yeah, we're doing fifth grade math. It's really exciting stuff. Our first line, we're going to unpack whatever we're starting with. 12.5 pounds is equal to 12.5 copies of 1 pound. No. 1 LB. Ooh, no. Cal is really excited about that. Did you no. draw a cow? Cal's drawing a cow, you guys. Thank you. As we're getting... Thank you, Cal. Thank you. As we're getting into our second line, you guys, we're going to come up with our conversion factor. We have to figure uh, oh. out... Oh, my gosh. Um, we have to figure out how many ounces are in a pound, but Elsa, our very own, told us that there are 16 ounces in a pound. I don't eat. No. Um, my pen is, okay. There are 16 ounces in a pound. So, you guys can see whatever we have in parentheses on our first line is equal to whatever we have in parentheses on our second line. So all we're looking for, oh, please. All we're looking for is 12.5 copies of 16. So let's just do that quickly over here. We just need to multiply 12.5 times 16. You ready for it, Cal? Cal's ready. Where? What? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> if only you guys could see the situation right now. Okay, 12.5 times 16. 6 times 5 is 30. Uh, carry the 3. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Now let's do our second row. We're going to multiply our 10 in. 1 times 5 is 5, but 10 times 5 is 50. Now we're going to do 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. I've run out of room, so I'm just going to go ahead and add these up over here. We have 0, we have 0, carry the 1, we have a 0, carry the 1, 2,000. Cal, do not write on that. Um, we have 2,000, but we need to figure out where to put our decimal points. We um, are just going to use some quick estimation to figure out this decimal point. 12.5 is pretty close to 10. We'll round that to 10. And then 16 is pretty close to 20. 10 times 20 is 200. So that's going to tell us we're going to use that estimation to place our decimal and I feel like I missed something up. 10 times 20 is 200. Oh, we're okay. Um, 200. So in the end, we found out that there are 200 ounces in 12.5 pounds. Wow, that was pretty cool. I'm into it. Sort of a word problem, but not really. We're just going to do one more conversion, and then we will continue practicing these conversions tomorrow. Um, so here it says the capacity of a syringe is 0 0.08 liters. Convert this to milliliters. Okay, so we are starting with 
0.08 liters or eight hundredths of a liter. And remember, in our first line, we're just going to unpack what we're starting with. So 0 0.08 liters is equal to 0 0.08 copies of one liter. We're going to get to our second line and we're going to start our conversion. Whatever we have in parentheses in our first line has to be equal to that, um, turn your head side, sideways, you can see that's a sideways equal sign. Um, these two must be equal to one another. So we're converting from liters to milliliters. Think about um, the relationship between centimeters. I'm sorry, think about the relationship between meters and millimeters. The same relationship exists between liters and milliliters. There are 1,000, and thank you, Lindsay, for helping us with that. There are 1,000 milliliters, hopefully I can fit that in, um, and one yeah, liter. My... So, Kel's still sitting on my lap. You're doing a really good job helping, buddy. Um, ah! So, what we're actually looking at in our second line here is we're converting is 0 0.08 copies of 1,000 milliliters. So what we need to do here is multiply 0 0.08 times 1,000. You guys are probably already thinking that we're going to be making, we're going to uh, multiply 0 0.08 times 1,000, so the number is going to grow larger. Wow, Cal. Cal's using his pencils as airplanes. Um, so we're going to be, and we're going to be shifting 0 0.08 three places to the left. Three place values to the left. Thanks, buddy. And when we shift 0 0.08, three, um, three place values to the left, we're going to end up with 80 milliliters. As it turns out, 0 0.08 liters is equal to 80 milliliters. Secret word is minions. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow morning. I hope you had a great weekend. We have a shorter week this week, so let's make it a great one. Bye, guys. Can you say bye, Cal? Say bye-bye. Bye. Good job, buddy. Bye, Ja. Bye, Ja.